Snapchat photo. Oh, you look good, puppy. No, no, I just, I just put, I just did a video. You look this. good, Zanny, but it's gonna be on your channel. This is gonna be on our channel. So I wanna no, I wanna change shirts. Can you? Nobody can really even see your shirt. They can see my shirt. Yes, it is. It's good. A little bit. What's good? Hutch, that's starting again. That's not professional. So this is your channel. Where you started off? It's our channel, not your, your channel. It's your called channel. the Life of the Cassells. What's it's, your last name? It's your channel. My last name isn't it? Isn't really officially Cassell. Did you just correct me and say no? That's not professional. This is hey. What's up, everybody? So to guys. That's professional. Though. Go ahead, get it. Yes, but you were like, you know, like you just cut me off while I was talking. You don't start it off like talking. that. Boy, my mind, I'm always talking. This so. is why we can't work together right here. One, two, three. <laughs> Hi, everybody. So today we are going to be talking about. Oh, this is me. This is when I come in? Yes. I my thing. I don't feel right. All right, wait. There you go, bringing your stuff from his channel. Damn right. Hi, this is your boy, Dez. And Kiara. And today we're going to speak about baby mama or drama. baby daddy drama. Or baby daddy drama, because right, there's mama. both dramas. So, I mean, everybody that. I know, everybody that I know, I think it's only a couple, everybody got baby mama, baby Desmond's, daddy drama. Desmond's friends have baby mama drama, I have friends who have baby daddy drama, and uh, you know, it's very common nowadays, which yeah. is really sad, but. It is, and you know, um, not to be racist, I hate to hate to bring race up, but people say, well, you know, it's, it's, it's more common in minorities. However, when I just went to the bowling alley, I just witnessed uh, some some baby mama drama. It was, oh, I thought you were gonna say some cheating. Nah, it was baby mama drama. So not to get Ooh. personal, cause this this video everybody watches. But um, somebody dropped off their kids, and you know they were going through it. You know I know how it is because I go through it. And you know basically the person had an attitude, had that pissed off face, and I know exactly. I know that how it too. feels, right? So it it hey. was just I really just wanted to talk about it. And I wanted to do some research before I actually did the video, but I want to know what the main issue is because I've, I've never seen just this amount of negativity or the lack of communication when it comes to raising a child. Now, I'll be honest, when my son and mother and I were together, being apart never ever crossed my mind. I guess I probably sound stupid, but I just never thought what would it be like if her and I weren't together? You know, so when we were going through our issues and some of the things that came out of her mouth, I was like, who the f is this person? And I think that, I think that's happening to a lot of people. You know, when they when they break up or go their separate ways, they, they're like, they're actually like, who is this person? Who is this person I had a kid with? And like before, not to cut him off, but I did. But even in relationships without kids or anything, like the people who see the red flags first are your family and your friends. Like your family was telling me like, we saw signs, but like, you know, he loved her and you know, we, we dealt with it, but like, we knew she wasn't the one and you know, but continue. Damn, and why are you in here? What I want to talk about, cause my wife hit it right on the head. What do we look for when we're looking for our mate? As a man, do we look at women and say, I want her to be my wife? Do we say that? Do we look at a woman and say that I want her to be able to raise my children? I don't think we think like that. I know when I was 25, 26, that's not the way I was I was looking at a woman. And maybe if they did think it, you know, they're like, damn, she's white and material, whoa, but I ain't trying whoa, to have whoa. that right now. You stay with the men. No, 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 but because, I'm saying, you know, but hold up, I'm pretty sure there's been men or boys, cause you know, when you fuck everybody, you're not, you're not in the right mind frame. You're not trying to have a wife because you're young, you know, you don't, you don't need a wife when you're young. But like, I feel like every guy has ran into that one girl that's like, damn, she's wifey, but I ain't trying to cuff that right now because I'm trying to smash and Tommy. I ain't trying, and I don't want to hurt her feelings because she is that wifey material, so I'm gonna just let her go. Ballard. And, <laughs> and you know, I'm just gonna, like if, if the time is right and if we are meant to cross paths again, we will, you know, I feel like every guy has gone through that. I know you have. And you know you let that's the that's what we call the one who got away. See, There's even look, a song about this that. This is why I I'm gonna stay on the men and you comment on the female because you can't say how it is to be no man. Okay, for me I was a relationship shape <laughs> relationship type of person. Like I just wanted to be with everybody. But anyways, that is not <laughs> the the topic of this conversation. What did you look for? What do you look for in a man? What did you look for? Honestly, um, I liked all type of guys. Like if you guys knew me back in the day, I used to date like every type of guy, like the nerdy guy. I dated the guy with the gauges, with the big ass ears. I dated the Q 
cute Hispanic guy with the nice eyebrows. I dated the tall Jamaican guy. Like, I just liked everybody, but I just wanted somebody who I can vibe with. Mainly for me, I was like, oh, if, if he if we can drink and he's cool and like we have, I don't know, I used to think dumb. Like, okay, now I, I didn't really think. Back to the topic. And if he was cute. Were guess, you thinking about a husband hell no were you thinking about somebody that's gonna be a father to your kids no and the dumb thing about it was that like i was so and also like this it was good you know but also in my mind like i wanted these these i wanted certain guys to like take me serious and to like call me their girl and like to be in a relationship because i always wanted to be in relationships but i never ever saw them like raising my kids ever even though i thought to myself like oh yeah or we'll talk to I'll talk about the future and kids and stuff but like Never. Thank God. Thank you for not I th I getting me pregnant so, earlier. So, so she just nailed, like, nailed it on the head, and I said so at first. I know for many guys, that's not what we look for. When we're in a club or you know, on Instagram or Facebook, we looking at ass. Yeah. I'm an ass man. Or we looking at titties or whatever. We're not looking at, at the right things, which is values and character to choose our women. Yeah, and like, sorry, another thing for me, when I would go to the club, I would look for like popularity because I was dumb and young so i would be like who like those guys at the vip over there the guys with the drinks like those are the guys that was my target the cute guys those were my target so you don't really think when you're young so and then sometimes you have to have a goal you know when people say they have standards and that's what they look for same way as career you have standards for what the kind of type of guy that you want to look for the type of woman and that's what you go for it's far too many often that I hear a female saying that, you know, I want a certain type of nigga. I hate that word. But then what they get is that type of nigga and they wonder why they're having a problem in their relationship. And then they talk about, because I see a lot of girls that I used to follow on Instagram or a lot of people I used to be friends with that I had on Instagram back in the day or like Twitter or whatever that they're like, oh, why can I get this so-and-so? But you're chasing the same type of guy, even though it might not be the same guy but like the characteristics and their personality is the same like if he's not treating you right or he's doing the same shit as the last guy you doing something wrong is you you know so you obviously have to get yourself out of that mindset and yeah. comfort zone and i'm not saying that it's easy oh, because no. we're all attracted to what the f we're, we're attracted, attracted to. to right so but after being hurt after having children and you know the the person that you had kids with isn't what you know you expected to be on that next round, you have to be thinking differently on the type of mate that we choose, not only for yourself, but for your children. When I got pregnant, what were you thinking about with me? Because I, like, my mindset wasn't right. You know, I'm a good person, but, like, I wasn't there as far as, like, what I want to do with my life. At the time, I was not trying to be a stepmother. You see that, you guys? And I was smashing bro. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, you know? And I wasn't trying to be a stepmom. I wasn't trying to be a mommy. Anytime soon, and I became a mommy and a stepmom fast, all within a year of meeting this man. So, what were you thinking about, like um, when I got actually when I actually got pregnant? And this is why I was saying how events in life have an effect on the future. I was just divorced maybe three, four months before I met my wife, and I was not trying to get married again, at least not that fast. So when I met Kiara, I was I was thinking I liked her. I thought she was beautiful. She had this wonderful, gorgeous smile, and I just wanted to just... Yeah, I did too. Um, so, <laughs> marriage didn't cross my mind, or being in a long-term relationship. However, I think once I didn't get to talk to her for a week or two, and I had to drive my ass up from Virginia to New York to get her, I think I knew she was Y'all, and the thing is, before that week that we didn't speak, we probably knew each other for like that weekend. <laughs> And then we didn't speak after that for a whole week because he told me like, you know, he basically said, you know, I don't feel like we're in the right paths in life. I'm older than you. We don't want the same things. And I was and like, I, and, but I didn't lie, which is, which is understandable. But the way I thought at that time was like, okay, motherfucker. Uh, on to the next like you're not the only guy or the last guy bye even though i really liked him after that weekend but i was like I ain't, i'm not gonna let guys hurt me anymore so bye I so i didn't speak her. to him for a whole week and then he missed me i did i did 
I did. So um, even even now, it's funny how how things work out. Somebody told me if you want to um, make God laugh, tell him your plans. And I I never would have planned that we would have been like this. Um, I'm very fortunate to have her in my life. I'm constantly teaching her crazy little ass every day, yes. but I enjoy it because I know if I keep pushing her um, in the long term she's gonna pay off like she's yeah. gonna be very successful and it could be annoying it could be very father like sometimes it could be annoying Dancing. but he is the biggest supporter in my life and he's helped me get to where I am now because uh, I was uh, far from where I am now when I met him like very even looking at the vlog before I was like oh, I, I watch myself and I'm like what was I thinking at that why was I talking like that what, 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 where was my mind anyways let's get to the big mama drama though that's what you guys want to watch and it's been 12 minutes. I mean, I I, I think we did though. I, I I think the whole the whole issue, I forgot I could be the whole other video. I hate when this happens, but. I know, we just. This was basically like what to look for in a man or a woman <laughs> to avoid having baby, baby mama, mama drama, drama or baby daddy drama. Yeah. You know, cause I, I think that's the issue right there is, is the mate that we're choosing. You want to date the drug dealer and the thug and then you ain't looking at if he's a father or not. Did yeah. he have a father in his life? Did did she have does she have a mother in her life? You know, things like that. That shit matters. Because I did not have a father in my life, that made me want to be a better parent. That made me want to be there for my children. Yeah. Because so, you know, I, I know what it did for me mentally, um, not having my father there in my life as a as a man growing up or as a boy growing up. So so definitely it's important for me to be in my child's life. Yeah. Some people they they continue to cycle, all right? They continue to cycle if they didn't have a mother in their life or they had a father in their life they they choose to they tend to not be in their why. kids life as well like you I, know I think how maybe, you felt all those years why would you want to do that to your child i think maybe they don't know how oh yeah know how to I like maybe they don't know how you know but i mean you didn't know how a lot of people didn't know how either and they stood by their I'm kid learning, i'm learning as i go i am yeah. so learning as i go we will wrap this up we just want to talk the original thing title What's was going to be, be baby mama and daddy drama however when we you know really dug into it it's really about the person that you guys are that we're meeting and uh choosing to have children with so the next video would be baby mama drama which will be we will film right now so if you see another video with these clothes on it's because we're gonna get into it because we didn't get into it this one so let's not blab on the next one i didn't blab i, um, I figured out a title you guys have already seen it so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video you guys let us know what you guys look for in a mate what you feel like you're like constantly looking for but it's not like the right person yeah let us know in the comments down below peace out